these images get people excited about the prospect of a the white, prospect of a white Christmas. That's the word, the prospect. Uh, I can tell you this, and I don't want to disappoint, but I also don't want to hype up. We're most likely not going to be looking at a white Christmas in Philadelphia. And I'm not going to say we're not going to see a couple of flakes across the area, maybe late Friday into Saturday. But for the most part, the big story with the storm coming Thursday into Friday is that it will mainly be a rain event for us. Okay. That's what we have to do. But you know what? Winter, it uh, officially begins on Wednesday, 438, and we got plenty of time to go. We have months to go. We're going to have some we're going to have some white days for sure, but not not this week. Let's talk about our weather watchers. Of course, we always love seeing our eyewitness news weather watchers helping us out. Today, we're going to take a couple pictures and observations. This one's nice. There's that little hint of sunshine Atlantic City from Louis Vitato. Appreciate the picture there. Chilly right now in the 30s, but there's a little hint of sunshine that should make its way across the area as we head into the next couple of hours. Of course, we'd love for you to be one of our eyewitness weather watchers. It's so easy to be a part of our newscast. Just go up to cbsphiladelphia.com slash watchers, sign up, and start sending us your pictures and observations. Back on the wall, and we are looking at Storm Scan 3, coming up with a pretty clean sweep after we had a couple of flurries overnight. Lake effect snow showers, and even some snow inland as far East as State College, but now we're going to wake up with mostly cloudy skies. You could see a flake or two across the area, but that's pretty much it. Look at the difference between maybe the last half hour if you were watching and right now. Philadelphia breaking out in some sunshine, certainly more sun than we saw yesterday, but it's a cold one out there with a brisk northwest wind at around 5 to 10. Cape May right now, 39 degrees. Avalon, 38 degrees. Atlantic City, 35. 31 in Trenton, 27 Allentown, and in Philadelphia, 37 degrees. The next couple of hours, we'll look at temperatures going back up into the low 40s with your high today coming in at 41. All right, so we have some sunny and chilly days coming our way for Monday, for Tuesday, for Wednesday. At night, it's clear, it's cold with high pressure in place. This guy giving us a really nice sinking air. It's actually going to be calm. We're not going to be looking at a lot of wind. But we're also not going to be looking at anything really crazy out there for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Pretty much an easy way to start the beginning and middle of the work week. Then things change for your Thursday and Friday. So let's get right to it. Snapshot, Thursday, 7 p.m., a day of rain. Because we're going to be looking at the area of low pressure staying a little further inland. And with counterclockwise winds, that helps to bring in more of that south, southeasterly flow. That offshore wind off the ocean will keep us on the warmer side. The mountains could see a little bit of a mixed terrain. And then we go into Friday. And while we will see heavy rain overnight into your Friday morning, here's the big question. When this entire system pulls out to our north and our east, does enough cold air that's filtering in behind it come in quick enough to change the end of this to a little bit of snow? The answer is most likely yes, but it probably will be too little too late to get into anything accumulating here in Philadelphia. So after a day and a half or so of rain Thursday into Friday, Friday night potentially a couple of light snow showers, little if any accumulation. Different story in the Poconos though. I do think we'll have several inches possible in the most highest of high terrain. Behind it we have the cold air really coming in Friday night and Saturday. Saturday of course is Christmas Eve day where temperatures could struggle just to get out of the low and middle 20s. For today, 41 degrees. We'll be looking at some sunshine returning. Here's your seven day plan. Easy, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then get ready for rain on Thursday with a high of 53. No wonder why it's just plain old rain. By Friday, we start off with rain and with a low of 20. Perhaps, Ross, perhaps a couple of snowflakes for good measure.